Okay, can you remote folks hear me? Um, okay, so today we're going to be talking about a different topic. We're we'll talking about a topic today that's going to bring different understanding probably to each person in the class. This is an entirely new topic that you won't find elsewhere, and I'm very keenly aware of our limited time in the, in the sessions that remain today and Tuesday. Um, and I'm having the triage. There's a lot of material you'll find online on my uh, course sites that you'll find useful, I think. There's uh, material on debugging, for example, debugging in any logic that I'd refer you uh, to. There's some material on best practices um, on the process side, best practices on the technical side. There's issues of performance and how to enhance performance of models. But I decided to do something different today. I decided to talk about something that I do believe will confer value to everyone in this class, but it will confer different value to the different people here uh, based on your backgrounds. You're going to each come away with something different, but I can almost guarantee each of you will come away with something Something that you, you could find practical if you choose to put it into practice. And the topic is, is one I haven't covered in online videos, at least not, not in this uh, depth. And I'm looking forward to adding it to the collection. You may, if you want to take advantage of these things, you'll probably have to go back to this. Because, because there's a depth of material today that, although I've covered some fairly sophisticated ideas, um, some of the ideas behind calibration and so on, um, some of the ideas in scoping the model, et cetera. This, this really takes the cake. And it, and it has to do with dimensional analysis, dimensional reason, and how we can use it 